Hey guys, okay, so a few weeks ago I made a video about Raven's comeback. This is Raven, not sorry, versus Raven's home. Okay, so in the year 2004, I was in about 4th grade. So I was in the Disney Channel prime of my category. And that's when the show, That's So Raven, started. Now what many of you who are younger might not know is that Raven Simone had a show way back in 2004 from 2007 called That's So Raven. She was about a teenager then. And she was in her prime day of Disney. That's what Raven was basically about a psychic teen who had visions and got in all these situations. And yeah, she got into all these situations. And you know, she ended up doing all those things that. She had the visions, but she didn't see the things leading up to them, and she got in all these crazy situations. Um, and then, you know, she had her best friends, Eddie and Chelsea, to help her out. Um, her parents, her little annoying, money-hungry brother, and a few love interests. Her most current one is her ex-husband now, Devon. Um, Raven's home is about a mother. Who takes care of her twins while living with her best friend and her son? Sadly, Eddie's not on the show, her parents aren't on the show, and Corey's not on the show. Um, but Chelsea's on the show, so that's kind of cool. Um, which one do I like better? Probably that's so Raven, just because I'm so used to it. Just like, give me until the first season of Raven's Home ends and then like ask me so yeah um what changed and that's a Raven she lived in San Francisco San Fran and in Raven's Home they live in Chicago so that's kind of different um what do you think about Raven's career I mean, last thing I knew on that story when she was working for one of the biggest fashion designers ever, Donna Cabana. How did she go from working for Donna Cabana to designing dog clothes? I mean, don't get me wrong, that's a good job if you're into it, but I mean, come on, it's Raven. I'm glad that Raven still has visions. Um, that's, that's cool, but, like, the special effects is different from way back when she had her That's So Raven, it's different. Like, if you ever watch That's So Raven and then watch Raven's Home, look at the difference when they go in and out of visions. It's, it's, like, the colors and the special effects are different, because, of course, it's changed so many times. Um, Chelsea is still... I guess goofy as ever, or clueless as ever. I guess I don't know what what how to say it. Um, as far as the kids go, the twins have a great relationship. And then Chelsea's son is um, adorable, and then. And then their friend lives across the hall. She is adorable. Um, and yeah, that's all I can say. I hope that um, Kyle Max makes a guest appearance and at least the father from that story makes a guest appearance. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, as far as the theme song goes, I do like that story even better. The last story theme song better. And for a quick fact for y'all. You know in, in Raven's Home when she says, yep, that's us, in the original that story when she says, at the end she says, yep, that's me. So, that's kind of like a pay homage to that song Raven and that, that's so, I mean, Raven's Home uh, theme song. Sorry, like I'm getting all confused. Oh, that's why I hate doing verses because like I get confused. Um, so yeah, that's all I can really say. 
comment down below which one you guys like better. But only if you watch both of them. Like, don't comment what you like better if you watch one but not the other. As I said, I kind of like that story better, but that's just because it was my childhood. Alright, so if you guys like this video, peace out. Bye. Oh, if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Peace.